Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I am going to do a ghost swipe using mica powders. So I've mixed up some er nice earthy colours. So I have sparkle yellow in Artis, uh, Artisu, Artis, I'm not too sure what brand it is. I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's sparkle yellow. Sangria and copper, which is these three colors here. And I'm also going to add just a plain Holcroft black. So these three powders I mix with, I put five grams Holcroft binding medium. So a binding medium, mixing medium, anything like that will work. Then I put in uh, about that much of a scoop of powder into it mix it in well which makes it about um, around 10 grams in total roughly then I add 20 grams flow troll no it only makes five grams sorry it makes five grams and then I add 10 grams flow troll so that gives me these little containers with about 15 grams in total in them so I've got my three colours. Then the whole croft is just um, uh, black paint. I mix that one part paint to three parts flow troll. And then I've got my white base, which is Montmartre white. And that is mixed one part paint to four parts flow troll. So this is 35 grams paint and 140 grams flow troll. And all my flow troll is Australian flow troll. So this is all mixed up, ready to go. So I'm virtually just going to coat the base um, in the white, tilt it so it's nice and even, and then I'll come back and do the colours. So I will pause it while I do the base because I don't want to bore you guys with that part. All right, back soon. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so put the paint on. Tilted it until it's covered all four corners, and now that part is done. So what we need to do now is open up the little containers. I mixed these up last night. And just give them a stir, just so they're nice and freshly mixed. So if you do this to all colours, and then you just have to work out what colours you want in what order. Which is kind of the fun part. Because depending on what order you put your paints in, you will get different, um, react. well, it will come out quite differently each time. So when you do this, plan your colours accordingly to how you think you would like it. Usually the top colour is probably the most dominant, but it does depend on the actual colours as well. Because some colours tend to... Um, not be bullies, but a little bit bullies. They, they just want to show themselves off a little bit more than other colours. So, we're mixing these up. Get them all ready. And from there, we want to pour these down onto the canvas. Now, also, the amount that you pour down will also determine the thickness of... Um, the colours and the canvas. That <clears throat> this black has gone a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of flow troll to it. So see, I just put a tiny little bit in, stir that through, just because it had thickened up a little bit. Still feels a little bit thick. That should be okay. Alrighty. So, now when we pour these down, depending on how you want it, you can just do a strip down the middle. I like to do my wavy lines. That's my little, my little thing that I do. So, I am going to go the darker colour first. So the copper. So start off the canvas, go on the canvas, and 
All right, they are sinking a little bit. I always find these powders do that. They just, they like to sink. I'm gonna go black next, but I'm gonna do the black a little bit thin. And I did a different type of wavy line. So I want it to show up, but not be the dominant part of the canvas. Now we're going to go yellow. And like everything, always start off the canvas and end off the canvas. Now we're going to go red now. I might try and do this red a little bit. Tiny drop or two here. Okay. So see how I was jiggling that a lot more? So it was coming out a little bit more spaced out. So these are sinking, so they're not going to be overly dominant in their colouring. That's just what happens. But there's my colours down. Really happy. Now before we go too much further, get your paper towels ready for swipes. So there's my paper towel down, ready to wipe off all that excess paint that I get from doing the swipes. And get your cards ready. So these are um, cut in half. That's the shape I want this time. You can do thicker ones or thinner ones. I want to do a half. So now when we do this, just making sure we're recording. Yep. When we do this, start with the card a little bit off the edge of the canvas, just so you get all the way to the edge. You don't want to skip a little bit there. Put it on, a little bit, little bit of pressure, not over pressure. Drag it through and then lift it either that way, that way, or just up as you get closer to the end. So take half the paint, drag and lift. Take half, drag and lift. And it is just a matter of continuously going along and doing a drag and a lift. Now that card is getting a little bit bendy so I'm going to turn it around and use the other side. Each time you do it, make sure you wipe off that paint. See how I'm lifting in different directions, trying to get different points. When your paper towel gets a bit too wet, fold it over or get a new one. See how the black is the one that's giving more lacing than the others? That's because it's a, a normal color, not a metallic. You will find that if you want more of that lacing, you can add more black. You do get it in the colors, but you tend to get it more boldly in the black. So I've got a fresh card and I'm just dragging and lifting. Going all the way across.
when you get to the end, make sure you're off the end slightly. And with the ends, don't push too hard. Underneath these ends is the wood. If you push too hard, you'll scrape all the way down to the base and you, it will, you'll notice it. So don't do it. Okay, one side's already done. See, it's quite nice and quick. It's not a hard artwork to do. I think it takes me more time mixing my paints than it actually does doing the actual swipe. So now we're lifting and turning the canvas. I'm just going to make sure that I'm in camera. A little bit more. There we go. That looks good. So. Quite liking these colours. They're very earthy. Um, the red, the yellow, the copper. It all works quite well with that black in there. You will notice that that white does tend to get in there and kind of cover it a little bit because the metallics sink. But that's just how these mica ones turn out. If you wanted to, you would just add extra colours into it. But just remember, it can make it a bit too bold. So, this will look really good once it's dried. So, start again, half off, and try to grab where you last grabbed for the, the paint from. Drag and lift. And, getting rid of this paper towel. And getting a fresh one. I say this all the time, but it's very true. Don't skimp on your paper towels. If you need to, if it's getting soggy, get rid of it. Get a new one. So place it down, drag, and lift. And try to keep that line straight, because you do, you will actually notice it slightly. getting a bit soggy so we'll get a new one really really liking these colors drag and lift drag and lift grab drag and lift So you do notice that sometimes when you do the first bit it's quite dark and then it lightens up. It's just because they're sinking a little bit. But if you could see all the shimmer in this paper towel where I'm wiping, um, absolutely beautiful colours are coming through. So I know this is going to shine and sparkle wonderful. And that's curling, so turning it around. Drag and lift. Down. Drag and lift. And see how I stopped some before the edge and some right on the <clears throat> right on the edge. Just adds that interest. One more swipe, which make sure you go over the edge that little bit. And don't push too hard because it's the side done so that is all that it is it's not overly complicated it's using the right measurements and the right ingredients um, I use Australian flow troll I'm not sure how the other flow trolls work I don't think you would get as much lacing but you you got to experiment try things out but these copper the sangria and the yellow are all going to shimmer so, so well once this is completed. So I'm really happy with that. And I love the tones. Very natural looking in the colours. So I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so this is what I see from my side. This is how 
the finished artwork looks. Can I get closer? Yep. Really nice colours, beautiful lacing, very heavier in the middle and fades off to the edges. But that is how the micas work. Micas, Mikas, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. But there's all these colours. Let's go this way. Might be a bit easier. So you can see the whole thing. Really cool. Lacing goes all the way through it. Lacing cells. There's all different types in there. Going along. See how the, the black can be a little bit dominant? So I wanted to go light with that. So the other colours showed up. Because see how cool this is going to look. Once that's dry... I don't think we're going to get the colours shimmer too well. No, they're not going to show their shimmer yet. They're going to wait until they've dried. But it's going to look super cool. So, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you enjoyed it. So, comment, like. Share the video, show others how this is done if they like this, and sub subscribe. When you do subscribe, click the bell and click all. So it will show you when I have new videos come up, which is usually um, every, not every day at the moment. I'm a bit busy with work, so it's probably every second day. So I hope you enjoyed, have fun, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.